James D'Amico was the $133,000 a year Director of Facilities Management for Cook County. He had worked there since he was a teenager, since the 1980s. And suddenly, a few years short of being able to get his pension, he resigned and he came under a lot of criticism from the county's Inspector General, Patrick Blanchard, who found that as Director of Facilities Management, Mr. D'Amico had sought contributions from underlings, basically from uh, his employees and directed some of his uh, underlings to go and tell their underlings in turn that they need to contribute money to none other than Todd Stroger, who was then the Cook County Board President uh, in the throes of a re-election fight that was ultimately futile. After D'Amico retired from Cook County, with the Inspector General calling for his head at the time, it didn't take long for Mr. D'Amico to find his way onto another payroll. Now, at the time that he quit, he told the Chicago Tribune that he was tired of being investigated, tired of being under the microscope in government, that he needed to get the hell out of there. Those were his exact words, reportedly. He didn't get very far from county government. He still is on the public payroll, a local taxpayer-supported public payroll, and he is at the Chicago Transit Authority, where now he is a manager at a rail yard up in Skokie. He comes from a very, very storied Northside political family. He is a relative of the Lorinos. His grandfather was an alderman who passed away while he was facing federal indictment in a ghost payrolling scheme that ensnared both of Jim D'Amico's parents and his grandmother. His aunt is an alderman, Marge Lorino, the 39th Ward Alderman, and his brother, John D'Amico, is a member of the Illinois House. And so it will strike some people perhaps as hollow when the CTA says they hired him because of his skill. Oh,